Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Finally, this patio is done. I don't gotta do anything else to it. I can focus on my Barracuda, my Challenger. It really was a lot of work and it took a lot of time out of me to get this done. All right, so for today's video, guys, we're gonna talk about this 392 Hemi intake manifold. I'm not sure if you guys recognize it, but this is the intake manifold that my car used to have before I poured the other one. As you guys can see, it's a fully poured intake manifold. Got the ports for the head fully ported and the opening for the throttle body. When I did put this in my car, I could notice a good difference on it. Especially on the top end, it was pulling a lot harder. But what I want to talk to you guys about is how it actually works. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about the intake manifold. That's two-stage intake manifold. You have the long runners and the short runners. But have you actually seen it? And with this video, guys, you guys are actually going to see how it's put together and how it works. Obviously, this is where the throttle body goes. And this is where it mounts to the cylinder heads. And back here, you have the actuator that actually bolts on. And make sure, if you happen to take this off, take a quick look from the inside. You're going to have to see those valves. So do not make the mistake of having to accidentally take off your actuator and leaving those valves open. Anyways, guys, that's one thing right there. This is where you put your oil. These are the bolts. I think I think it, these were bolted down to 120 inch pounds. I can't remember exactly. I'm just going off the top of my head, but I'll put the number on the bottom. That's enough talking. Let's put this. Let's put this camera inside and let's talk about it. So I really want to show you guys how this two-stage intake manifold works. As you guys can see, the valve is closed right now. That teal valve is closed, so right now it's on the long runner. But when it's opened. This intake now is converted to a short runner intake manifold. So on the high RPM, this is the position that you're, you're just going to be at. I think it opens up around 4,000, 4,500 RPM, something like that. But as you're picking up RPM, it opens up. And the lower RPM, your valve is closed as so. Makes a lot more torque like this. Makes a lot more horsepower like that from the top end. So if you guys didn't know how these intakes work, now you guys know. Pretty amazing little thing, isn't it? all right guys thanks for sticking to the end now you guys know how this intake manifold works you guys can consider yourself somewhat of an expert on the 392 intake manifold short runners and long runners and what makes them work well guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys till next time